We've only just said hello to the March Pixel feature drop, but the next beta for the June feature release is now available. What's new? Well, prepare to be underwhelmed. So with the March Pixel feature drop arriving, it means that it's not until June before we see another stable or full Android release as it were. It's important to note that this will be the last big-ish Android 13 update before Android 14 does arrive. Any feature drops after that will be based upon Android 14 and we're assuming that Android 14 itself will be classed as a feature drop for Pixel devices. Because of that, QPR 3 Beta 1 isn't going to be stuffed with fuller functions basically. It's consolidatory and we might see a few features from the recent Android 14 developer preview and upcoming beta updates added as this progresses. I kind of had to mention this at the beginning because if not, you're going to be in the comments complaining that there's nothing new here. Well, that's because there isn't really very much at all to speak of. There are a few things though, so here goes. Firstly, there's the March 2023 security patch, always notable and currently the only way to get the latest patch for the Pixel 6 series devices. You may have seen the home controls pop-up redesign, it is really minor and it's already on Android 14 DP2. This is here present in QPR3 with the overflow menu also giving you a handy shortcut to quickly open the Google Home application. Each toggle that you see here is now much smaller and more compact and you'll have six controls rather than the regular four for convenience. It's a nice little touch, it's not a massive one but it is an important one nonetheless. One thing you might notice if you do sideload QPR3 Beta 1 on your Pixel 7 or 7 Pro though is that the color profile have been tuned quite significantly. It's not necessarily clear at this point if this is a bug or it's intentional, but it's most notable when using the dark theme or nightlight. Everything is just, well, a bit brown red, and if you ask me, I do think this is probably going to be a bug. Android 13 QPR Beta 1 also adds the full screen wallpaper preview pane, which debuted in the recent Android 14 Dev Preview 2. This has an info button to see details on the wallpaper you're about to apply. And overall, I've got to say, I think this is a solid change added here. The only other user facing change of note is that the battery percentage has returned to the upper right quick settings panel. And this has replaced the time estimate for how long your phone will last. Usually it'll give you time in the future. Um, estimates basically how long your phone will survive survive on your current battery level and you have to fully expand the quick settings panel to see that battery percentage. I do def definitely feel like we're clutching at straws here but I wanted to share a super quick update on Android 13 QPR Beta 1 because you'll have been wondering where the heck was this video. On top of the extra features that have been added, although there's nothing massive here, there are a few software fixes for things like Bluetooth and even the loss of face unlock when you have to re-enroll when you've sideloaded an OTA but there's really little else here and I have to say it seems pretty stable so far for what it's worth and it is a way for Pixel 6 owners to get updated to the March patch because Lord knows what Google is doing with the March Pixel feature drop over there. I'm really disappointed in that and why there's such a delay. I understand it is disappointing here with Android 13 QPR Beta 1 so to soften the blow you will find a free wallpaper which we've designed for you down in the pinned comment in the link in the description as well so enjoy that. Until next time though this is Damien with 9to5Google. Thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.